I was born the moment the Traveler died, as everything collapsed around us. Before that day, there had never been a ghost. There had never been a guardian. I don't know much about the Traveler, but I know it made me to bring you back. And I spent a really, really long time searching for you. The Cosmodrome? Not the first place I looked. As I saw the other ghosts find their guardians, and the centuries went by, I wondered if I'd ever find you. And then... I did. What's up everyone, Darkblade here with a video review of Destiny The Taken King. The expansion was developed by Bungie and published by Activision. It had a worldwide release date of the 15th of September 2015 and was made available on both current gen and previous gen consoles. The third expansion in the Destiny series, The Taken King introduces us to year two of the franchise. It adds new story arcs, weapons, gear, strikes and more. However, is it enough to keep Destiny veterans playing as well as draw in new guardians to the game? The story of the Taken King follows from the events of the previous expansions, especially the Dark Below. Guardians were responsible for the death of the Hive Prince Crota. Oryx, the Taken King, and his father has invaded the Milky Way, seeking revenge on the Guardians who slew his son. The Taken King is hell-bent on his goal, and is willing to destroy or take anyone who stands in his way. Taken foes lose their will and become shadows of their former selves. These husks are slaves to the will of Oryx, and with each battle, Oryx takes more and more to bolster his army aboard his Dreadnought. Now Guardians have to intercept the Dreadnought, infiltrate it, and bring a stop to Oryx. While stories seem to suffer in MMOS games, the Taken King tries to make up for it for the little story that came with the original game and its previous expansions. While it's by no means a masterpiece, it gives us insight into the structure and even relationships of the vanguards of the tower. We even get numerous comic moments thanks to Cade, the hunter vanguard leader. There is also more character to the villains when compared to the past installments. This is thanks to the villains communicating with guardians. The main story missions are told at a decent pace that keep the adventure going. It's just a shame that sometimes the pace is forcefully broken with trips back to the tower. The Taken King's story shows that Bungie have listened to feedback. The story was one of the major complaints in the original game and it's an area that seems to have shown improvement. However, it does not mean that the story is flawless. Again, it is short and the pace is broken up sometimes. If the original Destiny story had more character like the Taken King story does, then the game may not have received as much criticism in the story department. The Taken King story is a short adventure through the Rings of Saturn that expands the lore of Destiny. The gameplay of Destiny, at its core, has not changed from the original game. It's still a very smooth and functional first person shooter combined with RPG and MMO elements. While the shooting side of the game has not changed much, the RPG and MMO elements have. Gear is now handled differently, as levels have both increased and been divided into two categories. Your level now has expanded, allowing Guardians to reach level 40. You also now have a separate light level, which is dictated by your gear. Your light level will determine your damage output and input, meaning that this is what you need to focus on for endgame content. There is also a whole host of changes to the bounty system, loot system, reputation gains and currencies. Nothing's changed so much that returning players won't understand what is going on, but it has tried to make things more streamlined to give players reasons to play for longer. There is also a completely new zone, the city-sized Dreadnought. This massive hive ship houses many story missions as well as a new patrol zone and even a new raid. The new Taken enemies are both a disappointment and joy. Disappointment in that the enemies look like shadows of existing enemies, but joy because they do gain new attacks, meaning that Guardians will have to adapt to these new enemy tactics and abilities. Bungie have also introduced a new subclass to each of the three Destiny classes. Each provide the missing element the class lacked. For the Warlock, you have the Arc wielding Ad Clearing Stormcaller. For the Hunter, you have the Void wielding Support Heavy Void Stalker. And finally, you have the Solar Heavy Hitter Titan Sunbreaker. As with the original game, there are PvE and PvP content. There are new strike missions and a raid. 
and even with the Taken King some of the old strike missions have been revamped. Also some of these new strikes now take advantage of raid like mechanics meaning that players need to take on tasks as a team. There is also the new raid, the King's Fall, that makes sure that all six players in the raid are pulling their weight. No more relying on one guardian for a specific role like with the sword or relic in previous raids. Everyone needs to contribute in order for your team to succeed. The Crucible makes a return too with more PvP loot and modes. A highlight is Rift with its take on Capture the Flag. Bungie have clearly tried to improve areas of Destiny's gameplay. It is still as functional as ever in the shooting area. Bungie appear to be trying to improve the strikes, the RPG and MMO elements to keep players in for the long haul. Whether this works or not though, only time will tell. Much of the presentation of the Taken King remains the same or similar to the original Destiny. On current gen systems, character models and environments look crisp and detailed. Light and particle effects are also worth a mention. The Dreadnought itself has its pros and cons in the presentation department. While some areas glow with eerie light, making for some truly atmospheric zones, others are dull to look at. Story cutscenes have also seen an improvement with detailed facial animations being very accurate. This is also helped thanks to the brilliant voice acting. I personally feel that Cade's voice actor, Nathan Fillion, steals the show with his performance as Cade during the story. The other members of the cast do their roles well. Even Nolan North, who replaced Peter Dinklage in the role of the ghost, does well, giving us a more energetic performance. The Taken King sound design is similar to Destiny, with new tracks and effects to help add atmosphere to the game. Overall Destiny The Taken King is a mixed bag. For the most part it is good, and if this had been included in the original game, it would have made the original game amazing. The Taken King could be considered at what Destiny should have been at release. However, this expansion does come with a short but sweet story. The already smooth gameplay has been made even more streamlined and the presentation expands what Destiny has to offer. The biggest downside of The Taken King is that it does lock content for those who don't own The Taken King expansion. I also found it frustrating that purchasing a physical copy required me to either buy the collector's edition, which includes the original Destiny and the first two expansions, or buying the legendary edition that again included the original Destiny and its expansions. Having to rebuy the game in order to play the latest expansion is not something I agree with. Now I know The Taken King was also available in digital format, but the Legendary Edition was cheaper than the actual digital format on its own, where I lived in the world it was at least. However, The Taken King has now elevated Destiny to the standard that should please most players. It has been designed to improve the experience Destiny can offer. Whether you want PvP or PvE content, you will still find plenty of activities to do during this expansion. The only issue with Destiny and all its expansions is that your experience will differ depending on who you play with. On your own, the experience will be less than if you play with a group of friends. Anyway, I've been Darblade bringing you a video review of Destiny The Taken King. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more. Maintenance pending. Requesting visual confirmation. Yep, that's the last one. Port side. Confirmed. Interest in tech, Cade. Isn't this Eris Morn ship? Is it? Huh. You know, you're a true artist. Can't even see the join. <clears throat> Cute. But Zavala's got sign off on all launches. Need a log while I'm letting it go. The stargazing door? Okay, how about an unsanctioned op using modified stealth tech to infiltrate a dreadnought above Saturn's rings so we can knock out its weapons, create a transmat zone, and send in the cavalry. How about test flight? It'll be waiting for you when you're ready. Me? <laughs> oh, I'm not flying that thing. 